I ended up winning the Pro-Am series um, in 2015. So that kind of pushed me, okay, you know what? I got my Pro 2 license this year. Hope to just do the best I can, uh, have a lot of fun, and uh, I plan on being fully competitive in Formula Drift Pro 2. Um, you know, I, I wouldn't go to these events if I didn't think I had a chance of winning. So, you know, I don't like to go in with an attitude, but at the same time, you got to have the confidence to be able to compete at the level that you're competing at. If I had to get more power somehow, I could either put a supercharger on this, but I didn't really want to do that. I didn't want to add extra things to break. I didn't want to add extra heat. So, you know, I decided I want to build an NA, you know, engine probably based off of an LS7. So we went uh, with a LS7 base 427. It's pretty natural when you think of uh, NA, LS7, and Corvettes. Lingenfelter is just, it, it's one of the top names that you're even gonna think of right off, right off the bat. Uh, it's got all forged internals. Um, went with a uh, little over 13 to one compression. Um, high enough to get the power we need, but not too high to keep the reliability. They try to make everything, uh, valve train, as lightweight as possible. Um, and mostly it was built for torque and reliability. So that's uh, pretty much just gonna be a good package for what we're doing with the car. The reliability and durability that I know, I can trust it, you know, that I don't have to question, is this gonna work or not, or is this gonna be unreliable, you know, it, it, it's just, it just makes sense.